So hello and welcome to this week's Energetic Awareness and Tapping Into Your Energetic Capacities uh, live video. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what are your energetic capacities? Ooh, yikes. And do you feel there's kind of this energy that comes up? There's this judgment about what energetic capacities you have. Now, if you're here on with me on this video, um, you definitely do have energetic uh, capacities. You know, the ability to sense things that other people don't sense. Um, maybe you know things about the future, the past. Whoa. So a lot of things that people on this call know things about the past that maybe you're not supposed quote unquote, supposed to know. Things that normal muggle type people, people who don't have energetic awareness just can't know. They don't have those capacities. And many of us, when we were younger, we were kind of, we didn't know that we weren't supposed to know these certain things. And we might have told somebody. So everywhere you told somebody about uh, what you perceived, and they said that you were making it up, you were imagining things. Wow, a lot of energy on imagining things, where a lot of people were told that. So everywhere that you were told that you were imagining things, um, and then you suppressed your powers, you suppressed your capacities, because you didn't think that you were supposed to have them. Wow, yikes, you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now. Ah, yes, I choose that. Whoosh, out, 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 out. Banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. Yeah, and the thing is, which is really tough for us energetically aware people, is your energetic capacities are different than everybody else's. Yeah, um, and so it can kind of make us kind of wonder, is like, are we supposed to have this? Are we like other energetically aware people? Are we completely different? Are we even messed up? Whoa, okay, so everywhere that you decided that you were messed up, that your powers like weren't supposed, you're supposed weren't supposed to have those energetic powers. Yikes! Do you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Ah, yes, I choose that. Whoosh. Out, 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 out. Yeah, and one of my uh, clients was mentioning that it kind of can sometimes in the beginning feel kind of weird that I'm actually tapping in and being able to feel some of these emotions that you're feeling. And this is one of just my capacities. And do I specifically know it's you when I'm watching this video? No, but I can just perceive these energies that come up in the energetic field. And when I have a really strong reaction um, or I can really feel it strongly, it means that you're not the only one. <sighs> there are multiple other people out there that are feeling the same way. And this is one of the ways that society has tried to keep us separate, isolated, and actually suppressing our powers. Because if you think you're the only one out there with these energetic superpowers, these energetic capacities, and it's not okay, you're going to suppress it. You're going to hide it. You're not going to work to amplify it and really discover what these capacities are. Whoa, do you feel that? It's like, whoa, how much fun would it be to be able to discover more of what your actual capacities are? Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of energetic lightness in there because um, when you're exploring exploring more of your capacities, that's exploring who you authentically are, kind of like who you are at the core. You're a person that perceives energies in your own unique way. And this can be even tough when we like take an energetic uh, class. Like when I took my first energetic classes about like auras and learning about things like, like that. I actually thought I wasn't very uh, powerful, that I didn't really have much energetic capacities because I wasn't perceiving things in the same way that the leader was saying. They were saying, oh, you look at it like this way and you can see all these different colors. And I'm going, well, I don't get that. I kind of just get a feeling around that. And the thing is, is like your capacities might be similar to other people, but there are certain areas that are completely special to you. I mean, special in a really good way. Um, and when you expand on those, learn how to access more of your capacities in the way that you access them. Whoa! Then you can be really that you can. Then you can really step into more of who you authentically are. And it really gives you a sense of uh, strength and confidence. Whoa. So everywhere that your uh, sense of strength and confidence was suppressed because your energetic capacities weren't like other people um, or weren't like muggles at all. Whoa. Do you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Ah, yes, I choose that. Whoosh, out, 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 out. Banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. Yeah, and in these videos, I'm, I'm looking to help answer questions that you have. So what I really would like to know is what questions do you have about your energetic capacities? 
if it's okay to have these, is do other people um, have similar capacities that you do? Is it okay to perceive these things that you perceive? Whoa, a lot of judgment on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and say that it is totally okay for you to perceive whatever you perceive. Now, if they're, you're perceiving things you don't like, well, you can shift and change that. Um, uh, because one of the parts that we don't really talk about is how to adjust your energetic capacities. Because any of your energetic capacities that you don't like, they're too strong, you can adjust those. You can turn those levels down. But one of the tricks, which we've all made this mistake before, is you cannot turn them off. If you try to turn them off, it just doesn't work. And often the, the needle doesn't uh, shift at all, turning down the powers. But you can only shift things down or shift things up. You can't turn them completely off. So everywhere you're trying to turn off your powers completely, when that just doesn't work, wow, do you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Ah, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. So let me know in the comments below, or I'm also going to send out an email if you're on my email list. What are your questions around your energetic capacities and what you would like to know about how to be able to use them, um, amplify them, reduce them, anything around that? Awesome. Um, and so let's just do a quick clearing to clear out everything in the way of you having a good week. Wowza. So what's everything in your way of you having a good week this week? Blah, yikes. Everything that is, do you choose to release let go and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now. Woo, yes, I choose that. Out, 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 out. Banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. So I'm Max Riggs, Energetic Awareness Explorer and Energetic Mentor, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye for now.